Well done. You've successfully completed the international spoken ESOL uh, test from City and Guilds. This um, workshop had a specific focus on pronunciation. Hope you found it interesting, useful, and don't forget that what you've done there is something that you can take into your classroom with you. Most of us, uh, whether we're native speaker, non-native speaker, teacher, it really doesn't matter, find that pronunciation is quite a sensitive issue. I hope that what we've done in the workshop is give you practical ideas, practical ideas that you can actually apply tomorrow and for the rest of your teaching career. Um, I'm happy to say that in today's world of international spoken ESOL, Accent is not something that we need to be too worried about. If what is said can be clearly understood, that is what the assessor, the examiner, is looking for. And I think it's very important to take it from the examiner's point of view, because your learners are preparing for a test, it is an important test, and that's what I as an examiner, that's what my colleagues will be listening for. Not a perfect um, received pronunciation accent, but production an interaction that can be clearly understood. If there's one thing I'd like to look back on in the workshop, and don't forget you can go back over the workshop and see things again, it is the use of the phonemic chart, the phonemic script. Sometimes teachers worry about using the phonemic script because they think it's an extra burden for the learners. They're already learning perhaps a different writing script. They can't take on the phonemic script as well. I agree, sometimes it's better not to, but it doesn't mean that you can't use it sparingly and show your learners that there are different sounds, i and e, th and d. You're also in a very good position if you're teaching a unilingual or a monolingual group. If you remember from the workshop, um, we described unilingual as a situation where everybody speaks the same first language, teacher and learners. If that's the case, then you will empathise with, not just sympathise with your learners. You'll know which sounds they have difficulties with, and you'll know that you also have similar difficulties. If you're teaching a monolingual group, same thing applies. You'll be used to the learner's production, and they will typically have certain sounds that influence their production. Gives you a big advantage. In a multilingual group, and remember a multilingual group is one where the teacher speaks the target language and the learners speak a range of different languages. It's sometimes more difficult to focus on particular sounds because the influence is not the same. What you can do is to put a focus on general understanding. The learners will genuinely understand each other or not and the teacher is there as a guide. Monolingual teacher's first language um, is the target language but he or she may not have perfect received pronunciation and I don't think we should worry about this. Um, the learners will look at us for a model. I think when it comes to teaching the spoken language, not just pronunciation but any aspect of it, it's worth looking at the role of the teacher. What role does the teacher play? And I think when it comes to pronunciation, the one role that I would pick on is coach. The teacher may or may not be a great model of pronunciation, but by using tapes, by using the phonemic chart, he or she can actually help learners to improve their own pronunciation. Sometimes my colleagues feel reluctant to focus on pronunciation because they're not sure that their own pronunciation is actually that good. Well, I'm sure it is, but even if it isn't, it doesn't matter. What matters is that the learners develop their skills. The learners that we teach might be better at pronouncing English than we are, in the same way that they're better at using technology. They have more practice. If the teacher is a coach, his or her long-term aim is to get the best from um, the learner, rather than from ourselves. So, I wouldn't like to be prescriptive as a teacher, trainer, teacher, developer on which phonemic chart you should use. There are many available and many different teachers prefer different models. But I think the important thing is to bring individual sounds into play and also to focus on stress, intonation patterns in your learner's production. And remember, pronunciation is one of the assessment criteria, equally important to all the others. Thank you.